got um, the information leaflet through, seemed quite informative. Um, I have older girls as well so I thought it could be useful just to pull from it whatever I could. Um, and because we stay out of the city it was an opportunity for us to kind of get involved in something. Um, so there's not many opportunities for us to do that. Um, and it just seemed quite interesting. I'm always keen to learn new things so definitely up for it. We got a letter home from the school, from RGM, um, and I wanted to come and be involved with it because we've been through the teenage years with Jamie's elder sister and found that quite challenging. So anything that would help us get a bit of a, a handle on that in advance, I figured would be useful. We have an 11 year old son, Aidan, who is going to the academy after the summer and just the whole syllabus just seemed to be absolutely appropriate for where we are in his life and where we are as a family right now. It was really, it's really fun and there's lots to do and they teach you um, a lot for um, what to do when you're older. Well we did like, like our goals for the future and like what job or if it was like a, even a short time goal or something and then there was some where you had to work on a goal where you did it at home and uh, mine was going to bed in time and I think it's really helped me improve on that. For me, I suppose it's communicating with your kids on a level that, that you're understanding things from their point of view um, and just using all the tools that you're given. So you know you're given all these different tools to break things down with them. So explaining situations and not just jump down their throats and um, just having a better understanding of things because you don't think about it all the time. Um, I use quite a lot of it. Um, we have all the things on our fridge to break things down so that's quite good. The, uh, like the who, what, when, where, you know, so just if they're going out, who are you going out with, where are you going, what time will you be back. Um, Sometimes if they just go to run out the door, it's like, no, get back in here, where are you going? How long are you going to be? Who's going to be there? All the sessions, I think, in their individual ways have been very useful. Um, the ones I think we've got the most about are the ones where we've talked about the family meetings. You know, we do them all the time now, and they're just absolutely brilliant for planning the family, what we're doing, bringing issues to a head and resolving them together. Um, I really enjoyed the family sessions and learning about peer pressure. I thought it was really helpful. I think it was really good too because it helped me. It's going to help me in later life and to make like better decisions than I would normally would do. Just all the new people that I met and free food um, and just all the different things, all of the activities you get to do as a family, and the the things that you get to do as a family. It's not awkward. Like, if you were talking in a family meeting and you say something, it might be a bit awkward, but here it's not awkward at all. <laughs> it's been enjoyable the whole way through, watching the videos and the examples that have been given on what you can do and what not to do, and all the different suggestions of things to try and to put in place before they're teenagers. I think that's a really good idea. So it gives you lots of tools to deal with all the scenarios that might happen, you know. So you've got... You don't then have the, to deal with it when it happens, like what am I going to do with that? And you know before something might happen, what you can do, what you can try. And every child's different, but there's so many things to try that you can hopefully deal with any scenario that might happen. I really enjoyed the fact that the children have been involved. Um, Jamie's had a chance to meet a really lovely group of kids and work on different things. Um, and then the whole format of coming together and working on sessions together we've got a lot out of it it's given us time as a family to kind of devote to really focusing on how we are with each other whereas you know sometimes you just get too caught up in the day-to-day -day stuff and your parenting style kind of slips into that of your parents without even really thinking it so what we've really taken away from it are sort of other skills other things that will help us you know make our own parent our own family I really enjoy the family time at the end, interacting with the children, it's peace and quiet with no distractions, just spending time with your kids um, and discussing things that are important to you as a family, like doing your family tree and doing your family shield. I've already tried to get my friends to say if that comes along you should give it a go because 
you know, I'm like, I don't think anybody's a perfect parent. I think you could always learn something new. Um, and yeah, I know people who have said I wasn't going to that because people might think that I can't parent, but it's not about that. It's just about understanding your kids better. Um, and I think it's great for anybody to do, you know. So yeah, I'm promoting it already. <laughs> so I am. I think it's great. First aid kit for potential parents of teenagers. Must do. Essential. This course is suitable for parents if you have issues now with your child, if you don't have issues with your child but you're planning for later on when they are teenagers. It's a good generic thing for all types of parents of children and I, I, I've learned a lot from it, picked up a lot of just simple things that will make a big difference and it's taught me to treat my child, my son, not so much as a child but recognise the fact he's going into a young adult and then I've changed the way I speak to him, the way I interact with him and we have this much more of a mutual respect between us now. So yeah, I'd really recommend it for anybody. I would suggest that it is really beneficial to the child and the parent. It's not very much of your time. Once a week for seven weeks you get your dinner anyway so you don't have to concern yourself that it runs over tea time. There's creche facilities if you have younger children provide transport if you need it, so there really is no inconvenience other than two and a half hours of your time, which is precious time to spend with your child without TVs, internet access, mobile phones. I would say 10 out of 10, because as well as while they're teaching you a lot of stuff, they don't make it feel like school, they do all the fun, they do fun stuff to teach you all the stuff to do in the future. When you get here it's fun and you get to meet lots of new people and you get to learn about things but in a fun way and um, it's a lot better than you think. <laughs> There's lots of fun stuff to do, you get to play games with your mum and your dad and it helps you really bond with your parent and it also helps you with the, like if you were having problems in the near future it would help you with that and it gives you like strength for the future and confidence. Come to strengthen families because if you have a problem in your life you should go and sort it and don't just don't try and sort it without yourself and just go ahead and have fun because it's quite fun.